Here at Crampton Bowl on first down. Across the middle, Chris Schelling makes the reception. A gain of 12, that'll move the chains and the air raid at its finest in play one. On third down, Welch will be tested, the screen pass. And Ware bottled up, driven backwards, no gain on the play, and the Youngstown State defense off to a strong start. Mays went through surgery back on Christmas Eve, the handoff. And Christian Turner ushered out of bounds, crossing the 35. Second down and 18. Fake the gift. There goes Mays. And into Sanford territory. It'll bring up a third down and manageable. On third down, Mays to the air. Overshoots his intended target, Samuel St. Jury. Banged up, but his skill set is big time. Coming off an Achilles tear on second down. Pass will be caught. And making the reception ahead at the 32-yard line. Montrell Washington, his first catch. Not intended for him. It looked as if it hit another receiver in transit. Chris Schelling, his second reception. And a gain of 12 more. Chris Hatcher gave us so many great lines this week. In the seam, and there he goes, Robert Adams. The foot race will be won by Sanford, and the Bulldogs strike first from 55 yards out, the double nickel to Pater. Defense. Robert Adams is simply going to go up the seam into green grass, and then look how quickly the ball gets on it. If the defense doesn't react properly, Welch's job is to be a point guard. Important play here for the Penguins, third down and five. Mays with time across the middle, Emmons wide open. And he'll stutter step his way towards midfield. The drive stays alive on a nice pitch and catch. Masters degree. So trying to get the Penguins back to the playoffs. Will unload deep, open for a moment and grabbed inside the 20. Samuel St. Zurin. Excuse me, that's at Sanford, but at Youngstown State, Jim Tressel. And off of play action towards the end zone. And stopped just short of the goal line. No, they're giving the six. Well, that looked like some version of the RPO, Samuel St. Surin. Look ourselves. Yeah, this is tight, but another great decision. It, it's just the ball that has to cross the goal line before anything but other than the hand and foot are down by the, by the player that possesses the ball, and it looks like that's a touchdown. Tom Haas, our replay official today. Boy, a lot happening in that sequence where it felt like there was a chance to maybe run it. And I think to your point earlier this week, that's part of the cat and mouse game in this contest. On second and short, ball pops out. There go the Penguins towards the end zone. Cash Mitchell, the scoop and score. Football, it's time to pay the rent and Cash Mitchell. Really off the field, the the fumble recovered by the defense. Touchdown. And that's one of the jeopardies of having Liam Walsh run a true quarterback read. If he gets the right read, he keeps the football. The quarterback, and rightfully so, you wonder Joe Craycraft's plans to see the playing surface are put on hold as Mays scoots ahead. We go for YSU, out of the eye. Alessi, the cutback with real estate. And finally sent out short of the 20-yard line by Lamar Anderson. The drive continues. Make a good decision. Tackled in the backfield. He'll lose two. Brett Granger got there. An active first half for 95 in blue and white from 43. And his first career attempt on the way. And it is good. Youngstown State extending its advantage. After the gain of five by Elamine. Play action and across the way. The missile caught again by Yassar Elamine. In the plus territory. That'll move the sticks. The tackle made by D Ford. After the fake to Walker. Across the middle. Into the air. And it's going to be picked off. Intercepted by Jones, the transfer from Vanderbilt. And he makes his presence known in a big way here in our first half. Thrown necessarily, but Zaire Jones was on the cover. And Sanford certainly believed that Jones arrived early and impeded the receiver's opportunity to really get both hands up. Montreal Washington was the intended receiver. Jones 
time. The sophomore out of Marion, Ohio. And a deep give to Braxton Chapman. Short of the 30. Quality pickup on first down, Cotrell Player. It's a loss of 19 yards. And the zone read, nowhere to run. Quickly brought down short of the 20, a loss of two. Treshawn Floyd with a stop. Oscaloosa. Conservative call, nearly intercepted. The swing pass caught. And brought ahead to the 34-yard line. Pier Nick DeSalvo. Lost the handle on the snap in 43, and wide will be brought down, and that's as good as a turnover. Sanford in business in the red zone to begin its next possession. Sure that he was unable to run anywhere, and on first down, a loss of yards. Make it five as Justice Reed sniffed that one out. Second down and 15 as Welch with a clean pocket, fires it, nearly picked off, batted in the air. And in fact, they will turn it over, intercepted. And is that Zaire Jones again? It is. Bo Pelini told us yet in a major way already. Really on the field is an well, interception the man -man by the defense. Coverage you can Put see down. right there by Youngstown State is tight coverage. Sim Mays fires a pass. It's caught. And Youngstown State maintains possession. Carter. And contrasting styles on display today. The power of Youngstown State, the speed and air rate of Sanford, and a big stop there. The force is second down and long, and Barton with the grab. Nick Barton, he needs 16 yards here. YSU 6 of 9 on third down. The draw play works to perfection straight ahead, and that should be enough to keep the drive alive. Pressure, backside, there goes Baines. Plenty of real estate towards the sideline into plus territory. And the Penguins in business after a run of 17. Two here. He'll fake the handoff. Mays with a pass towards the end zone for the touchdown. Josh Burgett makes the reception. Perfect coverage. Third down. Welch flush. Driven backwards, somehow stays alive and finally goes down back at the 36-yard line. Big Malik Richmond, the senior. And then Craig had a pop on Welch, and then Malik Richmond kept working. Came off the edge, got around the left tackle. Can keep that going with the new head coach. History tells us they will play action on first down. Mays suddenly pressured and down he goes. Ball pops out. Recovered by YSU, DeMarcus Cheeks applying the pressure. Here comes the tempo. Well, it's picked off. All kinds of real estate for Youngstown State and in the plus territory. John Harper goes. The third interception thrown for Liam Welch in this one ultra costly. Which should be picture perfect against a man coverage defense. And John Harper just undercuts the route and essentially runs it better than the receiver does. You can see right underneath. It's last season for Youngstown State, three already in their first game of 2019. As Joe Alessi is bottled up. Nobody was open. Hand off Alessi, nowhere to run, driven backwards, he'll lose more yardage. Jalen Nash met him in the backfield. And one of the top leaders for this Sanford program, the signal caller. And on first down, they'll run play action. Craycraft will dump it off. Samuel St. Seren towards the end zone. It'll be first down and goal from inside the one after a gain of 12. To where the defensive end used to be. Chapman, the running back, straight ahead towards the goal line. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Youngstown State, and that time it was Chapman. They call him the tank. Actual games played, a little different skill set, and he just has to master the air raid setup. Wide open is Washington, and he will race towards the end zone for a Sanford touchdown. 64 yards, the pitch and catch, and Oladokun providing a much needed spark for Sanford. And Youngstown State obviously drops coverage. 
And what a gift to get by Ola Doken comes in and you're trying to present some type of a spark to an offense that has gotten a little going, but it's Washington up. And Point conversion card tells you to go for two here to cut it to a two possession game. Ola Doken far side towards the pylon, dances his way for the two point play. And don't look now, but our new score at 31 to 15. Mays pulls it out, and the quarterback keeper, there he goes, Mays. Wisely stays in bounds down to the 35-yard line. And that's the other part of it, is he stays in bounds after a really good run. Set for Youngstown State, Chapman again, this time with real estate. Plunges ahead. No signal yet. There it is for the touchdown. And most major defensive categories as well. Here's the speedster, Washington. Far side with a lane, ushered out near midfield. Which Liam Welch did not really have. There he goes again, Oladokun to the end zone for the touchdown. And the dribbler fielded near the 44-yard line. He simply didn't get much going until Oladokun came in again. The there goes Turner. Far side towards the end zone, brought down near the five. Nathan Mays has been that today. Mays on the field, the give to Turner, towards the end zone for the six points. Wagger back to a team that has a reasonable level of talent on both sides. Moses Satine off to the races and brought down at the 20. And in their linebackers, they have three really good ones. Not a lot of depth behind them. On fourth down, what will be the final play of the afternoon? It is incomplete. And Youngstown State finds a way, a convincing win against Sanford. 45 to 22. Our